Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. Thankful for the reaction that he received from his hometown crowd on Raw last month. On the September 9th edition of Raw at the Saddle Dome in Calgary, Hart returned to WWE programming for the first time since 2022. He took part in a promo segment with Gunther and Sami Zayn. In an appearance on the Wrestling Classic podcast, Hart explained that his appearance on Raw came together with just a few days of advance notice. He said, quote, Maybe four or five days ahead of time, I found out. They called and asked me if I wanted to go down. I was like, what else am I doing? But yeah, it was really special, Hart said. I didn't expect that kind of reaction. Of course, it's been a long time since I walked out in front of a Calgary crowd. Also during the interview, Hart was asked if he noticed that CM Punk and Drew McIntyre did a little tribute to him during their Hell in a Cell match at Bad Blood. Punk put McIntyre, who was bleeding profusely because of that toolbox shot, in the sharpshooter as a callback to Hart and Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 13. Hart said that he did notice it and that he always takes those as a nod of respect. He said he liked and appreciated it, but guess what? It still wasn't as good as his match with Austin, and he did smile at that. It's amazing how many years it has been since that match. He says it's the best match of his career. I'm not going to argue against that. It's one of the best matches that I can remember seeing. It was the double turn where Austin turns babyface, Hart turns into a heel, Ken Shamrock is the special guest referee. It was perfect. It was about as perfect of a wrestling match as you can get, and I know we have a lot of young people that listen to the show, and... It's been 27 years, damn near 30 years. There are plenty of you who were negative 11 when that show started, when that show happened. And I don't know how many of you have seen that match. I'd like to assume if you're a wrestling fan that's so diehard that you spend part of your day listening to shows like this, you would have already seen it. But I will say go out of your way to watch this match. As soon as the show is over, if you've never seen it, go back, watch WrestleMania 13, watch that match with Steve Austin and Bret Hart. It was absolutely incredible. So amazing here. 27 years ago now. Damn. Another WWE news. It's not really news. It's pretty much a slow news day today. But there was a press release that got issued from the folks at the South Point 400. The NASCAR race taking place in Las Vegas. Rey Mysterio and Braun Strowman have been named honorary starters for this coming Sunday's playoff race for the NASCAR Cup Series in Las Vegas. It stated that fans can meet the two of them on Sunday and uh, make sure if you're going to this that you plan wisely here. Maybe get there a little bit early you have 20 minutes. They will meet with you from 9.30 a.m. to 9.50 a.m. Pacific time in the fan zone where they're going to have a question and answer session on the South Point stage. Fans attending this Sunday's race will also have the opportunity to buy pre-sale tickets for WrestleMania 41, which is, of course, going to be hosted at Allegiant Stadium next April 19th and 20th. So... If you're if you're excited about that, there you go. I believe the guy's name is, I think it's Cole Custer, who uh, races in the series, uh, the NASCAR series that's on uh, the CW. He will be making an appearance next week on the NXT show, if I'm not mistaken. I definitely know they have the NXT paint scheme for his car, and I'm sure they're going to be selling a ton of those through Fanatics or the NASCAR shop or, or whatever it is. I actually still somewhere from way back have a uh, have a Cartoon Network version of one of those cars uh, that's got like the Powerpuff Girls and all these other people on it. I know one of the bigger collectibles from back in the day was when they would have all those deals with NASCAR and, and TBS where they would have WCW on there and different cars like that. So if you're into that sort of thing, there you go. You should be happy about that. Got a lot more coming up after the break, obviously, including everything that took place on AEW Dynamite last night. Maybe if we have time, we'll open up the phone lines, get some of your thoughts on what's going on with the Blackpool Combat Club. Apparently, everybody in AEW now works for John Moxley. 
that's cool. But it seems like they really have a problem now that Brian Danielson is out of the way with the mid card because they were messing with the Dark Order and Top Flight and Action Andretti last night. And there is probably a reason for this. And we'll get into it a little bit after the break as to why those two groups right now are being targeted by this group that has now supposedly taken over the whole promotion. Hmm. Hmm. We'll find out more about what that is as well as what's coming up this weekend on AEW Collision and Battle of the Belts 12. Did you know there was going to be another Battle of the Belts? Well, there is, and it's going to be taking place after Collision. We'll get into that and a whole lot more when we get back from break. Wrestling Observer Live. Back on the show, Mike Sempervivi here with you, Wrestling Observer Live. No boss man Brian Alvarez today. No filthy today. Hopefully the boss man is back tomorrow for Fun Friday. This coming Saturday, AEW Collision and Battle of the Belts 12 are be taking place. They're being taped tonight at the Adventist Health Arena in Stockton, California. About an 11,000 seat building that the NBA's G League Sacramento Kings play in. Or <laughs> the Sacramento Kings. What, what is their actual name, Dom? What is the G League team? I actually have no idea. I will look that up for you and come back. I don't know, have you ever been to Stockton, California? Ever been to anywhere around this building here? I've been to Stockton like once. I've never actually been to that arena or anything, so I cannot give you any kind of scoop on it. You went to go smoke with the Diaz brothers, didn't have time to do anything else? I can understand that. I can understand that. They can be a handful, but on Collision coming up this Saturday, the Outrunners against LFI, Roosh and the Beast Mortos, Kyle Fletcher against Atlantis Jr., Ricochet against AR Fox, and the Blackpool Combat Club against Top Flight and Action Andretti, and we'll tell you how all of that came to be uh, coming up a little bit later on on paper. Pretty good. I can't complain about that show whatsoever. Now, what's taking place on Battle of the Belts 12? Just one thing that we know of for sure, which is Anna Jay against Mariah May in a women's world title eliminator match. It is not for the title. It is a number one contenders match. So Anna Jay, I could see getting the victory here and moving on to a title match against Mariah May. I don't think it's official, but it uh, it seems to be close to it. ROH television title, Brian Cage, who is now aligned with the Callis family, will face off against Commander. So there you go. Speaking of ROH, Ring of Honor is tonight on Honor Club with matches that were taped last Wednesday in Spokane and on October 3rd when AEW was in Toledo, Ohio. We've got a women's world title proving ground match. Athena alongside Lexi Nair will face Lady Frost. Yuka Sakazaki against Viva Van. Nick Wayne against Brian Hook. Not Hook, but Brian Hook. Spanish announced project of Angelico and Serpentico against Derek Dillinger and Ren Jones. And the M&M Collection, Mansoor and Mason against Midnight Heat, the team of Eddie Pearl and Ricky Gibson. So I don't think you'll have to go too far out of your way to guess who wins those matches uh, coming up here. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.